Welcome back guys. So today I got a little bit of a different one for you. Not what I'm accustomed to doing. Another pickup video. This is more, you know, of a shout out to Glenn R. the Gamer Goat. Check his channel out. I absolutely love the stuff he does. It's like kicking back, hanging out with a friend while he's talking about something he's passionate about. The dude is really into Neo Geo. He does his Neo Geo love videos and I watch him all the time. So a little, little shout out to him. Check him out. But today, Got my own little Neo Geo pickup that I want to talk about, take a look at with you guys. Haven't opened this package yet, showed up yesterday from a subscriber to the channel, Brian from Colorado. I don't remember what the comment was in reference to, but I saw he had mentioned that he was selling his Neo Geo stuff and he still had a few things to get rid of. And I just let him know, hey, I might be interested, email me. Let me see what you got, what you're asking for, and maybe we can work out a deal. So he hit me up and... That's where we're at today. We're gonna take a look at what I bought from this dude. So, got my little blade going. This big ass box, man. I was like, I don't remember this stuff uh, being that big. You know, a few games, that kind of thing. But we'll find out. So here we go. But, Neo Geo, man. Yeah, I love Neo Geo too. I mean, a lot of people do. Not the hugest library in the world. A lot of fighting games, but I remember growing up, there's this Asian market down the street from me, and they always had a Neo Geo machine. And they rotated games occasionally. And that's where I first played Neo Geo, and then started hearing about the AES console, and just seeing the thing. Like, the games blew me away. I used to play Samurai Showdown 2 at a university in the lounge, like when that first came out. Played it all the time, and it started becoming pretty competitive as well. You know, just like Street Fighter 2 was crazy competitive back in the day. And I remember some dude teaching me, like, a bunch of stuff I never even knew. Like, good times, man. Especially playing all those games. I remember playing Metal Slug, P.O.W., uh, Bubble Bobble. You know, Bust a Move. Not Bubble Bobble. Bust a Move. All right, we got a couple games here. There's a lot of peanuts in here. Very... Very bad for the environment and for my uh, recording area where I'm gonna have to clean all this shit up. <laughs> but let's get let's get everything out of this box and then take a look. Oh my god, that's a lot of peanuts. Wait, that's two games. Oh my god. Another game. I'm pretty sure there's one other thing in here. Should be. There we go. All right. I got to get rid of this box. This thing is way, way in the way. I got another box, too. It's some stuff I bought from a Joypad Lad once again. We'll get into that in a moment. All right, he, he packaged this very nicely. It kind of went a little overboard. A little overboard. But here we go. Got me a... Another one of the bean controllers. I have one of these that I got a while back and I absolutely love it. I think this thing gets a bad rap. Uh, you know, I, I always shied away from this controller because people were always ragging on it, saying it wasn't that great. Now, to be honest, I don't think it's that great for fighting games, but for like shooters and some of the puzzle games and whatnot, it's not a bad controller. I just like it because the smaller form factor, if I've got, you know, limited space to play, not bad. Does need to be cleaned up a little bit, but overall it is in good condition. Dig it, dig it. Uh, how much did I pay him for this? I pay, you know, it was kind of a bundle deal, so it's not really fair to say the, the prices. I think before the bundle deal, he wanted like 60 for it, somewhere around there. I recently bought one complete in the box that was cheaper than that, but I, I figured, you know what, let's bundle this shit up. Let me get another one, who cares? And then, as far as the other controller, let's get this thing out. Got another CD pad, can never have too many of these. Clicky sticks were once not hard to make, apparently. I, I like this controller, it's not my favorite way to play Neo Geo, but I really do dig it. I know people have converted the, the Neo Geo mini pad and I hate it like because the buttons are in the wrong orientation and they just go with it. So I don't, I, I haven't messed with those. I, I just don't like it. I, I prefer to play 
with the, the style that this is instead of A, B, C, D type of thing. I want it that way. I want it that way. That's the way I want it. Awesome little controller. These things are going up in price, man. Pretty ridiculous. So we got a few games here. Let's take a freaking gander. Pretty sure, what did I get from? I don't even, okay. I, I have such a bad memory, it's ridiculous, dude. How do you, how do you, how do you do these unboxing videos of pickups in a, in a good uh, amount of time with cutting everything? Pins don't look too bad. This is a uh, Metal Slug 3 with the serial numbers scratched off. A lot of places did that. But I do not have Metal Slug 3, so I was happy to grab that from him. Not what I was most excited about, but it is there, and I'm happy to have it. Pretty sweet stuff. Metal Slug. I don't remember ever playing Metal Slug 3 in the arcade. I always played Metal Slug 1 and 2. Those were the ones I always remembered playing in the arcade. Never played this one in the arcade. Not back in the day. Okay. Here we go. We got a couple more. It's like Christmas in this bitch. This is like the only stuff I've been buying is Neo Geo stuff. I haven't really been buying too much else. Always keeping an eye out for Neo Geo stuff. Get the frick out of here. So we got Blazing Star in a nice little bit box there. Not all my games are in these cases. I've been meaning to buy more. Oh shit, I forgot. He said that it came with uh, some of the paperwork too. Like this is for the MVS. I forgot he said that. Dips, uh, dip switch settings? So we got like a paper explaining the dip switches. And then the, the all the soft dips and whatnot and the explanation. That's cool. And then what else? Oh, we got the uh, the those are these reproductions or are these legit i think these are legit yeah they are got the little uh explanation of how to play the game that's awesome yeah i'm pretty sure these are legit prints i don't think they're no they got they got a little bit of age to them it smells like perfume though the hell all right, let's set that aside. Let's take a look at the cartridge. So there's Blazing Star. We have our serial number. He did show me the board on this one. Very clean, authentic board. Good to go. Blazing Star is an awesome shooter. It's it's another one. I didn't play in the arcade, but I you know discovered it years later. Probably playing on the Raspberry Pi or something. I don't even remember. But Blazing Star is a lot of fun. One of the best shooters on the system. And bonus, this came with the. Uh, the bit box. So there we go. I'll tell you what I paid for everything all together after we get this last one open. Um, you know, I know people always, they want to know, what did you pay? Some people don't want to say what they paid because they either think maybe they paid too much or they just don't want to share. I, I, I don't know. I don't care. Like, I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge on if I got a good deal or not, but I'll tell you after we get this one open. We got the last blade, another one in a bit box thingy. <laughs> 1863, history's hidden secret. Really good fighter. I don't like every fighting game on the Neo Geo, but this is one that's definitely freaking awesome. Very clean pins. The worst condition one, um, this Japanese cartridge, this is a Metal Slug 3. Uh, so far this one, yeah, you got a little, little, little label wear on there, not, not a big deal. Uh, but the pins look good. Look really good. Have to check this one out. So there's that. The games that I picked up from a subscriber. Metal Slug 3. Yeah, this one's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this. Gonna have to clean this one up before I pop it in. But what did I pay for all this? So I paid 400 for these games, the controllers, that might sound like a lot of money, but 
for what a couple of these games, I mean, all three of these games are fetching a little bit of money. And then the controllers, you know, this, yeah, you can find them cheaper from Japan, but even then the prices are going up. So I spent a little bit of money, but I really wanted these two in particular. And I figured, fuck it, let's do it, right? So before we go, like I said, big shout out to uh, Glenn R, the gamer goat. One of my favorite Neo Geo channels. I mean, he does other stuff besides just Neo Geo. But before we go, I did pick up a couple little things from Joypad Lad. In case you're interested, not related to Neo Geo, nothing like that. But still stuff that I'm extremely interested in. This is more of a video for people who, you know, they just, they, they just want to, you know, comment and, you know, relate to somebody, I guess, you know, and you watch my channel all the time. So Joypad Lad, he sells video game stuff out the ass, retro gaming stuff. But he also has like a collection of uh, figures, like old school figures that he recently posted up that he acquired. And I remember these Tenchi Moyo little um, like headliners or whatever, little super deformed bitches. I remember these a long time ago. What was the, the store in the mall? Suncoast or something like that? I don't remember, but there was a store in the mall that used to have these. And I remember they clearanced them out and I never picked them up. It's one of my all-time favorite anime in the world. Tenshi Moyo, Tenshi Universe, Tenshi in, in Tokyo, the movies. Freaking loved it. Uh, but let me see. What else do we have in here? Just Tenshi Moyo. I've talked about Tenshi Moyo on the channel before with all the stuff. Like, back when it was on VHS, I collected all the VHS tapes. Um, so there's the other one. Aika. Freaking. There you go. A washu action. Little headliners. I'm going to open these up. I'm not going to leave them in there. I mean, I'm not going to open them right now. But there we go. And the last one, which I do have... Uh, I don't have this one, but I do have uh, Ryoko. Is the uh, McFarland Toys Tenshi. I never liked this figure. I didn't like the way it looked. He looks a little derpy, if you ask me. But he had it on his website, and I figured, fuck it. Let me show some support and buy from him. If you're interested in Joypad Lad, I'll have a... A link in the description. These are pretty fucking aged, man. They got like sun, sun damage on the plastic, but these aren't going to stand the, the boxes. I'm going to take them out. Anything else in here? Yeah, he always throws in these pins, man. Always throwing in. Oh, these aren't pins. These are mat. He sent me magnet. That's. Thank you. I'll use magnets because the last time he sent like some samples of uh, pins, and it's like I ain't going to use pins for nothing. But magnets? Yes, I'll fucking use magnets. Let's see what we got in here. I'm actually going to open these up little bonus m magnet action. What is that? Like a Minecraft thing? I don't freaking know. Like, who, uh, there we go. Star Wars shits. If you can even see it, I don't know. Freedom stick. There's that. Mega Man X. There's that. I'll use these. These, these, these will get some use hanging shit up. Is there anything else in here? Pretty sure that was it. I just like, thanks thrown in some of our magnets. Appreciate it, bro. So there you go. There's my video, my pickups. If you were interested, check out Joypad Lad, link in the description. Check out Glenn R, the gamer goat. Love this freaking channel, man. Mellow dude, just like you're hanging out with a buddy. That's, that's, that's the stuff I like, man. When you can relate to somebody, they're just chilling. They don't have a fucking agenda. Um, it's like old school, like old school freaking YouTube. And I dig it. Like, no agenda. Just wanting to talk about something that they love. I like those channels. Those are the kind of channels I watch. So, appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this one little weird, little different this time. But, hey, I will catch you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Big ass thumb button in your face. If I could reach with a 4K face. Did I record this in 4K? I don't fucking know. Bye.